This is NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Four Quadratic Equations Exercise Four Point Three Problem Number Ten. The problem is an express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel one hundred and thirty-two kilometer between Mysore and Bangalore without taking into consideration the time they stop at intermediate stations. So, if the average speed of the express train is eleven kilometer per hour more than that of a passenger train. Find the average speed of two trains. So let's go through solution now. We can start from let average speed of passenger train. Equal to x kilometer per hour. And we say let average speed of Express train equal to x plus 11 km per hour. This is because it is given to us that the average speed of the express train is 11 km more than that of the passenger train. So that's why it is x plus 11 here. Now, if there is distance given to us, that's 132 km. So we can write here time taken by passenger train. To cover 132 kilometer equal to 132 divided by x hours because time is equal to distance divided by speed and 132 kilometers is the distance and x is the speed that we have supposed so the time taken by passenger train would be 132 divided by x hours similarly time taken by express train to cover 132 km is equal to 132 divided by x plus 11 hours this is because x plus, il x plus 11 is the speed of express train and this time is and time is equal to distance divided by speed and this is distance 132 km and this is speed of express train so we have two times now Time taken by passenger train to cover 132 km and time taken by express train to cover 132 km. So I, I will write both of these here. Now it is given to us that an express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 km. So it means that this time, which is the time taken by the express train, is less than that of passenger train so to make both of these sides equal we will have to add one to the right hand side just look carefully again it's given to us that an express train takes one hour less than of a passenger train so we have both of these times in hours and it's given that it's given to us that this time is one hour less than this time so if it is one less than this we will have to add one to the right hand side to make them equal so now we can make a quadratic equation from this and we will solve it i can take this term to the left hand side now i can take 132 common and in the brackets i will get one divided by x minus one divided by x plus 11 equal to one here 132 would be common, uh, will remain as it is. Now I can solve the bracket thing. x times x plus 11 would be the LCM, and at the numerator, I'll get x plus 11 minus x here equal to 1. Now x minus x, I can cancel these. At the top, I will get 132 times 11, and at the bottom, I'll get x times x plus 11 equal to 1 here. Now I can cross multiply these. It's one here automatically. So I can cross multiply these. I'll get 132 times 11 equal to x times x plus 11. Now 132 times 11.
it's 1452 equal to x square x times x is x square plus 11x here so I get here now I can take this term to the right hand side I'll get here x square plus 11x minus 1452 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and we need to solve this quadratic equation to find the value of x here and that would be the solution and if we solve x here we will get average speed of passenger train because it's equal to x now let's suppose that we want to solve this by a applying quadratic formula and in order to solve any given equation with quadratic formula we find the values of a b and c to find values of a b and c we compare both of these equations this is general form of quadratic equation And comparing both of these we get a equal to 1 b equal to 11 a is equal to 1 because it's 1 here automatically and c is equal to 1 4 5 2 negative so these are values of a b and c and quadratic formula is equal to x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a and minus b I'll just put the values of a b c now minus b is minus 11 plus minus square root of b square it's 11 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c c is minus 1 4 5 2 divided by 2 a a is equal to 1 here so it's 2 times 1 here so I get here minus 11 plus minus square root of 11 square is 121 <coughs> sorry and 4 times 1452 it's 5808 I'll get a positive sign here because it's minus 4 times minus 1452 so I'll get a positive divided by 2 here so it's equal to minus 11 plus minus square root of 121 plus 5808 it's 929 9, divided by 2 now I need to find the square root of 5929 9. so it's equal to 77 divided by 2 here I assume that you know how to do all these processes and all this work is your rough work and so here we get x equal to minus 11 plus minus 77 divided by 2 so in this in the one case I'll consider this positive sign and in other case I'll consider this negative sign so x is equal to minus 11 plus 77 divided by 2 also x is equal to minus 11 minus 77 divided by 2 so from here I get 77 minus 11 that's 66 divided by 2 and from here I get minus 88 divided by 2 which are equal to 33 and minus 44. I can discard this value completely. This is because speed cannot be in negative. So I'll just consider this value for x. So x is equal to 33 kilometer per hour which is speed of passenger train therefore speed of passenger train is equal to 33 kilometer per hour and speed of express train this is express train is equal to x plus 11 that which posed in the very beginning here would be equal to 33 plus 11 it's 33 here because we, uh, we got value of x equal to 33
and that's equal to 44 kilometer per hour so that's the solution of problem number 10 in the next video i'll be covering chapter number 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.3 problem number 11 yeah till then see you guys